This is the new Frame.io integration into Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. Cinema 5D at NAB 2019 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video, and photo solutions. Lawa, unique cinema and photography lenses. Fujifilm, value from innovation. And Fujinon, ultimate optical performance. Hey guys, Graham Miller Sheldon here from Cinema5D.com. We're at NAB 2019. I'm in the Frame.io booth with Emery and I mean, I'll let you take it from here, but there's a bunch of exciting updates to Frame.io, uh, obviously DaVinci being right near the top for me, but tell me what's new with Frame.io. Well, first, this is our first booth, so that's new. It's exciting to have a booth at NAB, and um, yeah, we are launching our developer platform at NAB this year, and our developer platform is um, an open set of APIs that any third party can go to developer.frame.io and get access to the APIs and start building workflows and integrations with other tools. And our, our marquee launch partner for this was Blackmagic. They have built an incredible integration to, into DaVinci Resolve, and, the, and the, the key thing here is that they built the integration using our APIs. So that means it's totally native. You don't have to install anything in Resolve. Frame.io shows up as a drive in the media browser. You just drag and drop into the media pool. Uh, uh, Resolve does something very clever, which is they download one of our low-res proxies first, and it happens almost instantaneously, but in the background, they're downloading the original, and they do a seamless swap. The user doesn't have to uh, do anything at all. They'll swap out for the high-res original, but that means you can start working with the low-res proxies, and uh, when the original's ready, it just swaps out. We're also integrated into the deliver page. You can publish directly to Frame.io from within Resolve, and then Resolve does another clever thing, which is once you've uploaded a Resolve timeline to Frame.io, it creates a connection between the Resolve timeline and the asset in Frame.io. And now anytime somebody leaves a comment, it drops a new Frame.io marker type in the timeline, a Frame.io marker type, and that also includes the support for annotation. So, it's just, uh, it's, it's one of the slickest, kind of smoothest integrations, and it, I think it's going to open up a lot of new cloud workflows with this whole kind of like proxy thing that they do. So are you hoping that this integration with uh, DaVinci might be something that you can carry over in some of your other plugins with uh, other NLEs? Well, the good news is, is it really any, this is not up to us, so you know, they did this work themselves, it was their engineers, and now anyone can do that, uh, from the other NLEs to other partners that we've also launched with. So we have a bunch of great partners that we launched with, just want to bring up the list so I don't forget anyone. We have Luma Touch, Kino, Silverstack, Imagine, which makes ShopPut Pro, Snapstream, Narbox, and Restream.io. They've all built integrations into their products using our API, so you get that same native experience. All right, Emery, can you walk us through a demo? Sure, happy to. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve, and uh, you'll notice that there's now a new, um, a new place to sign into your Frame.io account in the Internet's account here. And once I sign into my Frame.io account, Frame.io shows up as a drive in the media browser, right? So I can go through all my projects, my, my assets. This is all cloud content. None of this is native, but I can still do things like Hover Scrub, and uh, they did a really great job making it work, utilizing our proxies and things like that. So if I want to bring a clip into Frame.io, uh, or sorry, into Resolve, I just drag and drop and Resolve is going to bring the low-res proxy in, but in the background it's downloading the high-res original and it does a swap. But I can start working with this proxy without waiting for that original. So I'll drop it into a timeline here. Now in this case, you can see it already looks high-res, it's already done that swap. There is a new background activity monitor that shows you what's happening with downloads and uploads if you want to monitor it, but you don't have to, it's just going to kind of work in the background, right? Uh, we're also integrated into the deliver page, so uh, you can see that Frame.io is a new uh, destination, so I'll choose where I want to render this. I can browse my whole Frame.io directory structure. I'll choose this Rhodes End film that we were working on. Uh, obviously, you can set up what you want to actually render. I'll add it to the render queue, hit go. Resolve's going to render it, it's going to upload it, and when it starts uploading it, it does something really clever. It connects that Frame.io asset to the timeline. So if I come over here to the timeline, you'll notice that there's a new Frame.io marker type, and this is actually a Frame.io comment. So I just leave a, leave a Frame.io marker, click on it, I can say, you know, comment, being really original here, and I hit submit, and I've just left a Frame.io comment. So you have all the, you have the liking, the replying, all of that built right into Resolve. So let's actually go over to Frame.io and see what that looks like. So here's that shot that we just uploaded. And there's the comment I left in Resolve, but it works the other way around as well. So what if the client, you know, the client might be, uh, it might be the recipient of a review link, they might be viewing this on the iPhone app, and they might leave a comment like, you know, hey, can we 
warm this up, right? I hit submit, and if I go back to resolve, let's make sure we submitted that comment, go back to resolve, and there it is. And I didn't have to import it, I didn't have to do anything, it just pops in. It also supports annotations. If an annotation was on that shot, it would come in with the resolve annotation. So really, really seamless way to work, and we think it's gonna really change uh, the way people collaborate in resolve. All right, thank you for walking us through that. Where can folks uh, learn more? They can learn more at frame.io.